darkness at thy speaking it was done. Good morning. Uh, it's Friday already, and we're going to just take one more look. I, there's a lot more that could be said from James 1.12. And, uh, and you're probably getting tired of hearing it. Don't tune out. <laughs> uh, stay, with, stay with the word of the Lord. I, I'm just going to say one more thing about it, and then next week we'll press ahead, okay? Uh, so uh, dealing with the word those, those. So here, here again, this verse. Blessed is the man, and we said that's singular, and that's male, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. So you have this very curious change of pronoun, which goes from a singular masculine he to a plural and all-inclusive, those. Uh, so, which God has promised to those who love him. Uh, so the Bible clearly teaches us that there's no such thing as love without trust. Uh, love doesn't exist without faith. You can't love someone you don't trust, not really love them. Uh, you can have a kind of Stockholm Syndrome love for somebody that you don't trust which is all designed just to protect yourself, uh, but you can't really love someone. You can't adore someone that you don't believe in, that you don't trust. God has promised that those who love the Lord receive with the man who has overcome it all the crown of eternal life. This is what the Word of God is for. This is what this text is for, is that it comes to us from the Lord of glory, from the Holy Spirit, and it bounces in our eardrums and ricochets into our hearts and creates faith. That word is the very origin of our faith. Don't look someplace else for faith. I say that over and over, and you're probably tired of hearing it. You'll get more tired of hearing it because I'm not going to stop saying it. The word of the Lord creates the faith it seeks. The, the love that God is talking about here is created by the very word he speaks to us here. There's nothing for us to do. There's no, there's no generation for us to give it. We receive it. We see that the blessed man is Jesus, our Lord. He has endured the fiery trial and temptations of the devil and shares with you and me his victory. That's the gospel. The gospel is Jesus won. That's the gospel. That's the good news. And to hear that is to trust in the Lord and to trust in the Lord gives way to love. It just does. When you believe in someone, when you trust in someone, you love that someone. It just naturally occurs. The crown of life, God has promised to those, to us who love him in Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't try to manufacture that love. <laughs> no, receive the love of God for you that he is giving you in giving you his word and know for sure you are those who receive the crown of life who love him. God bless you and God keep you in his word. See you on Monday.